Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Captain Steel Pants. And last time we set up a HUD with some static text. This time we're going to set it up to where you can access the text and feed text into your HUD through the OWL using a key binding or however else you want to do it. Um, then next time we'll animate it. So let's uh, go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our HUD blueprint back up. We're going to go to this first text box. We're going to remove the text in there since we're going to be sending text in from the level blueprint. We're going to come over here into the details panel and we're going to select bind, create a binding. That's going to put us in this function. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a local variable. All right, we're going to add a variable. We're going to call that text box one. We need to switch that to a, te to a text variable. Drag that into the blueprint and hit get. Attach that to the return node. Compile that. Go back to the designer. Go to the second text box we're going to remove the text out of there too we're going to create a binding as well we need to create another variable we're going to call this text box 2 drag that into the blueprint and then hit get text box 2 plug that into the return node as well compile that and save that that gets our we'll go back to the designer and that gets our hud set up for what we need to do now we'll go to the main level blueprint we're going to go ahead and create a couple key bindings let's create one We'll use keyboard T. Let's create another one. Uh, what the heck, we'll use keyboard A. Why not? So now what we want to do, go to our uh, node selector, type in text box one, uncheck context sensitive, and we're going to hit set text box one. Plug that into there. We're going to get text box two. Plug that into there. And then in the text box area here, we're going to type in you pressed the T key. Text box two, and we will type in you pressed the key, the A key. Now, in order for this to know what it's trying to execute, we have to create a little bit of a blueprint here in order to uh, allow that to access the HUD since it's going through the OWL toolkit. So the first thing we're going to do is get our begin play. Then we're going to bring up a create widget. Then we're going to select our HUD, our main HUD widget that we made as our text knit. Execute that from the event begin play. The owning player is going to be player controller. Then we're going to take this return value and we're going to promote to variable. We're going to call this variable main hood. Then we're going to get UMG widget. Get current UMG. You have to turn off context sensitive to grab that. Plug that in. Now we need to get a copy of our Owl Cinecam and the capture component. Control C. Come up here, Control V to paste it. Plug that into the Get Current UMG widget. Then we're going to cast to main HUD. Connect that in. Connect the return value to the object. Promote variable we're going to call that variable owl hood so we know what it is now we can take the owl hood variable and hit get owl hood and plug that into our set variables for our text boxes compile save go ahead and run our project let's get our tracking going camera movement tracking and we will hit the T key. As you can see now it says you press the T key and the A key. Now it says you press the A key. So that gives you a way to assign text to your HUD through the OWL cam out to OBS from the level blueprint. So 
So the next tutorial we're going to cover how to animate these. Could be used for showing that you activated a function or something like that. So anyways, until next time, I'll see you then.